Konnichiwa and welcome to a very special Jedi Mantis Tests. <laughs> Yes, and so today we are venturing for the first time outside of Scotland and we're heading over to Japan uh, to try the Hakushu Single Malt Whiskey by Suntory. Uh, now it is a young industry, the Japanese whiskey, um, within the whole whiskey scene. Um, the Suntory Whiskey Group is very much the leader of the Japanese whiskey and the history of Japanese whiskey is indeed the history of Shinjiro Tori, who is the founder of Suntory. Uh, now the history of this begins back in 1899 when Shinjiro Tori founded the Tori Shoten store in Osaka, Japan, uh, where in 1907 the Akadama sweet wine was launched and became a huge success. This sparked a dream within Tori, um, and intrigued by the results of cultivating and maturing liquor in Japan, Tori dreamed of creating an original Japanese whiskey. A whiskey uniquely made from Japanese nature and by the Japanese people. So it's heavily influenced by Scotch whiskey, but it is its own thing. Uh, in 1918, Tori uh, invested his family fortune into pursuing his dream of building Japan's first whiskey distillery. However, this was far from a popular decision and was despite a unanimous protest by the company directors. Tori uh, pushed on, however, regardless of this and in 1923 established the first Japanese single malt whiskey distillery, the Yamazaki distillery on the outskirts of Kyoto. Um, and just six years later, um, in 1929, Japan's first whiskey, the Suntory Shirofuda, or White Label, uh, was launched and ultimately failed. Uh, through this failure, uh, Tori uh, learned a very critical lesson. Uh, the lesson being that satisfying the delicate palate of Japanese people needed to be the main criteria that Tori would need to uh, follow in making a successful Japanese whiskey. Um, success was to come and in 1937 Tori launched Suntori Kakubin uh, or square bottle, uh, a whiskey that today is the heart and soul of Japanese whiskey and Kakubin is the country's number one seller. Uh, following this success, Suntory continued to cultivate the growth of Japan's whiskey culture uh, by opening Suntory bars throughout the country. Uh, Suntory further re revolutionized the way to drink whiskey in 1970 by introducing Mizuwari, uh, which is the art of blending water with whiskey and pairing it with Japanese cuisine, making it a lot more palatable for those delicate Japanese tastes. In 1973, Keizo Saji inherited his father's quest of pursuing the boundaries of what a Japanese whiskey could be. And so he built the Hakushu Distillery to commemorate the 50th anniversary of Japanese whiskey, but also further diversifying the portfolio of the Suntory single malts. The Yamazaki and Hakushu single malts were then released in 1984 and 1994, respectively, uh, with in between the blended whiskey Hibiki was released in 1989. 
Um, and from then, really, the awards started to come. Uh, in 2003, we see gold for the Yamazaki 12-year-old. Um, and it also then becomes Japan's number one selling single malt whiskey. 2010, the House of Suntory um, is awarded the first uh, is the first Japanese distillery to be awarded the Distiller of the Year. 2012, it wins it again for the second time, and it becomes the first distiller to claim two whiskey category trophies in the same year for the Yamazaki 18-year-old and the Hakushu 25-year-old. Uh, 2013, it becomes a three-time winner of Distillery of the Year and it, it uh, wins another trophy awarded this time to the Hibiki 21-year-old. 2014, it's the third consecutive year that the Suntory Group wins Distiller of the Year, making it its fourth time uh, winning it overall and also the second consecutive win for the Hibiki 21-year-old. That pretty much brings us up to date as to it, uh, the, the state of the, the distillery now. Uh, as you can see, it's very young, only like, you know, launched 1923, um, so it's a very young distillery, um, but still a decent amount of history within that. Um, hoping the whiskey itself that we try today is going to live up to that history. Um, so the one we are trying is the Hakushu single malt and this is the distillers reserve uh, and it is described on the website uh, from Suntory's mountain forest distillery deep in Mount Kaiko Kaikoma Gatake uh, Hakusha whiskey is the fresh and gently smoky single malt whiskey with herbal notes that is the revelation of Japanese single malts straight from the untouched forests uh, mountains and pure waters of the southern Japanese Alps, it is no wonder that Hakushu is a green and fresh whiskey, praised by the most curious whiskey connoisseurs, connoisseurs and lovers of gastronomy. Its crisp and vibrant feel, unique in a single malt whiskey, enlivens and liberates your senses. So, quite a big um, sort of like pitch on the whiskey there. Um, this is the uh, the box, so you can see we've got the the Japanese text. Uh, I assume that means that says Hakushu. I don't read Japanese. You've got pictures there. That's uh, Shinjiro, uh, Tori. You've got pictures of the distillery, the setting that it's in. A couple of other pictures on this other side here. Um, they'll have probably all flashed up behind me as I was talking. Uh, you got a little map there to, to show where the distilleries are next to each other in relation to each other um, and if we crack open the box it's quite a nice box um, the first thing you'll notice is the green glass uh, obviously fully getting behind the green vibrancy of the setting the southern Japanese Alps. Uh, it is a 43% volume um, and it is available in some supermarkets. I picked this up at Sainsbury's. Uh, and you've got your foil seal at the top which I have pre started to tear open just to make it easier. So let's go straight in with this. That's a little disappointing, it's just a screw cap. Smells like whiskey. Let's uh, pop a little bit out here. I'll just pop this lid back on. I'd like to have seen a cork in that. So, if we get a bit of light in here. Oh, that light's going to come around. We've got the light here. So it's quite a light gold. Uh, looks medium sort of thickness. It doesn't look syrupy, um, but doesn't look too thin. It's not that watery. So let's add a little bit of water. Um, as we mentioned, the Mizuwari 
is the art of blending it with water um, but we're just going to do our normal amount a little bit of cloud in there so potentially non-chill filtered we'll swirl this around get it right up the sides of the glass and dive in with the nose it's very light smelling quite fruity smell to it not particularly citrus though maybe a little hint of citrus just on the back note citrus normally being a, a fairly distinctive flavour within a scotch obviously this is Japanese it does smell it's not as herbal as something like a Jägermeister or anything like that but you can pick up different herb herbal sort of like qualities to it just smell a little bit like sake smooth there is that smoke there but it's not like a Scottish uh, a, a scotch smoked where it's it's through peat it is just a smoked flavor there's no no sort of like peat notes there picking up a little bit more of the citrus flavor I mean, lemony Maybe a little hint of the sake sort of flavour. Um, it's nice. I, I, I like this. Um, if this was handed to me and I wasn't told what it was, I wouldn't. I wouldn't know. It's not Scottish. It's quite refreshing. Quite, they they describe it as vibrant. I, I'd agree. Um, it's it's lovely. A little bit dry. You pick up the smoke just on the finish, just as it goes down. Sort of like lingers the smoke down the throat, across the tongue. But it's it's not. A powerful smoke, it is already delicate. That's nice. I'm gonna have a bit now without the water. Going against everything the Japanese say about how to drink your whiskey. Don't mean to worry for me. Let's have, a look. have another swirl around. Is it a bit more com compacted smell? Getting it all in there. It's almost minty. A little bit of hint of mint. Just dancing around at the back. nice that's nicer without water it's quite silky without the water again just that delicate smoke tone but not overpowering that's very nice That's that's a good whiskey. Absolutely nothing wrong with that. Um, I've tried Japanese whiskies before. I've tried the blended, the Hibiki. Um, that was again fine. This is my first single malt from a Japanese distillery. Um, 
one I would I'd, I'd buy that again. I'd, I'm interested in trying the the Yamazaki as well. Um, so yeah, um, distillery surrounded by forest. Hakushu single malt. We say cheers to the Centauri Group and the Hakushu single malt whiskey distiller. That was um, that was good. I enjoyed that one. Um, very, very much. You can tell the inspiration from the Scotch with it. Um, just tastes just like a Scotch. Uh, it, I know they, they 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 say that they want to be a unique whiskey um, crafted by Japanese people in Japan, which it, it very much is, but. It's not too dissimilar to a scotch for a whiskey drinker to turn away from. Um, so if you're looking for something different, uh, hunt it out. Hakushu Single Malt Distillers Reserve, currently in Sainsbury's, um, or through the, the usual websites. I'm sure more than half of them will have that on. Um, but worth, worth a try. Um, surprisingly nice. Um, don't know what I was really expecting. I was expecting, I think, a completely different taste to the whiskey, um, but it tastes like whiskey. Obviously, it's it. When you think about it, of course, it tastes like whiskey because otherwise it wouldn't be a whiskey. Um, but yeah, um, uh, just a nice whiskey, just from a different area of the world. Uh, so one to try. Um, next week we're heading back to Scotland. Um, we will have a vote. We can vote for the Elgin Classic by Glen Moray or the Tullibardine Highland Single Malt. So those are your options. Vote in up here. Uh, give them a vote over the next week. I will then taste... Actually... I might struggle to get a video out next week, so I will either get one out next week on the Friday uh, or it will come out early the following week. The uh, reason being I've got a trip next week, so I might struggle to get time to actually record anything. Um, so yeah, it will, it will be either next week or beginning of the week after, so get those votes in and I will, tr I will sample and review the one you pick. Uh, so thank you very much for watching today. Uh, give the video a thumbs up if you've enjoyed it. It means a lot to me if you do that. Um, hit the subscribe button that comes on the next screen as well and that will make sure you don't miss when the next video comes out. Um, and comment down below if you've tried the Hakushu or any other Japanese whiskey and let me know what you think. I look forward to reading those comments. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time.